I'm a senior. I'm Julie, I'm a senior. I'm Anselma, I'm a junior. I'm Juliana, and I'm a junior. And we're from Mercy, Mercy High, High School. School. This is Poets Against Dueling. Due to the declaration of vaping as an epidemic, the amount of anti-drug charts and posters has skyrocketed. We feel like these anti-drug initiatives are missing a key demographic. Teen poets, this, this is, is not a group, group poem. This, this is, is an intervention. intervention. Bathroom stalls saying some of the grossest things in here are that vaping may kill, may, that vaping are not for the masses, but, po but poet, but us poets cannot be reached with the typical ads and slogans. Hugs, not drugs, is great and all, but does not account for teen poets' high levels of angst. We, we are, are so angsty that we wear Converse with our prom dresses. That we wear vintage AirPods with wires hidden by hoodies. Our addiction is to the void. That our chokers match our eyeliner. So here is an alternative slogan. Who needs downers when you've got Sylvia Plath? Who needs uppers when you can read a book in a bath? Dear parents, this may be tougher news than when your child asked you to attend a poetry reading, but your teen has not been taking a flash drive to parties just in case they get inspired to work on that novel. Peer pressure is not a concern amongst poets. If we wanted to fit in, we wouldn't write poetry. And we wouldn't carry books around, so everyone knows we write poetry. <laughs> If we wanted to be like everyone else, we would just clap for poems. We need to be so different that we found three alternatives to clapping. Mm-hmm, yes, honey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, baby. <laughs> Our idols are not healthy athletes or reformed drug addicts turned musicians. Instead, they are struggling writers who did a lot of drugs. And with long dead poets as idols, it is apparent there are worse drugs than mango-flavored nicotine. Opium, cocaine, speed, heroin, and lots of alcohol were as necessary to their writing as a pen. You can hang up po po posters saying, don't be like Poe, because every teen poet literally wants to be him. You can't spin Hemingway's addiction into inspiration when he is quoted saying, a man does not exist until he is drunk. Making a poster that reads, Sarah Dessen writes sober would drive teens to the bottle. An effective poster would read, Stephanie Myers found inspiration from vaping. She would understand it's for the greater good. <laughs> Truly, vaping kills brain cells, and you need those to string words together. You can be an artist without always having to struggle. We will leave you with one final haiku. John Green does many drugs. Fitzgerald did none. Wink, wink. Poets, Poets don't, don't jewel. jewel.